We've already got like the banchan ready for us. This is, uh, it looks like a uh, hochu. No, uh, what's it called? Garlic chives. Oh, that's good. Cool. And, uh, yeah. Ah, it's amira. Make the round again. They're not. They don't joke around here, do they? Yeah, they're kind of like, this place is so famous that they're really trying to turn tables, right? So we sit down and the food is already here. We already ordered outside. And I think our soup should be coming as well. I am with my good friend Mike LaPetri, right? Uh, me and him have been foodie partners for a long, long time, since college. He's with me here in Korea, and this is your first time trying Sunday. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. This looks good. Well, let's just dig right in. Okay, Sunday is blood sausage, right? Blood mm. sausage. Oh, that smells good. Dude, it is good. So try it plain. You're going plain first? Mm. Holy cow. Really good. So hot. Yeah. Dude, this is the best sundae I've had in Korea, actually. It's very oniony, very garlicky. Yeah. And then the blood, blood sausage, right? The blood makes it really deep and rich. Wow. I'm gonna do what she suggested. She suggested dipping. Just prilla. Yeah. It's good. Okay, we'll put a little onion on it. Make it nice and pretty. Gosh, this is good. Mm. 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 This is good. Yeah. I don't know why I'm surprised, but I am surprised. Actually, if you get Sunde like out of market, like yeah. on the side street, it does not taste like this. Yeah, this is uh mm. gosh, it's, it's really rich. Lots of spice, very rich. Yeah, it's yeah. very rich. Alright, so this place is called I can't I gotta make sure I say it right. Jo Jam Jo Jam Ray. Jo Jam Ray. We're in Jeonju and we're eating some Sunday. It's really good. So what do you think of the Sunday? Oh here comes our soup. Uh, Tokyo, uh, soju, soju hamyang sale. I love these bowls, man. Add, add, uh, add that. I've, I've had more soup coming to Korea than I've had before. Say, I think Korean soups are the best in the world, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there, there's, there's so many different bowls. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, we got some sundae pieces. I'm gonna take a picture of this. <laughs> Your glasses are yeah. fogging up like crazy. It's nice and it's cold outside, so eating this like beautifully hot soup. Oh, yeah. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm slacking here. You got pour for me? Yes, sir. Gosh, this. All right, my friend. So, kind of spoon. anyways, uh, so today we're eating sundae. I'm gonna talk to Mike about food. We're gonna have to pick a second place because yeah. we already feel rushed and... Which is 
Good. They they want to turn tables. This place is famous. It is hot. Uh, have we? We don't really talk about much else besides food. That's a, that's <laughs> true. Like I don't think we ever talk about anything but food. It's usually like, uh, how uh, how you doing? I'm oh, good. Good. What'd you eat lately? Yeah. 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 <laughs> have you been to any good restaurants? <laughs> oh, I gotta go to this place. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta go to this place. Right. Have you had this yet? <laughs> so this is a special episode. It's our first episode outside of Dejan. And Junju is like a 40 minute trip. We came to Junju today specifically for this soup. He has never had sundae, so I wanted him to try the best, uh, in my opinion, the best sundae. This is. Tell me about what you I'm, think. What do you think about I've this? never had blood sausage before. This is your first blood but, sausage? Yeah. Ah, okay. It's delicious. It's delicious. Yeah, it's delicious. Good. A lot of a I've, lot of people don't, don't it, enjoy it, this. It's not irony. Like it, I mean, it's a, it's deep, but it's not overpowering at all. It's, yeah, it's it, this is perfect weather to eat things like this. Cause it's like oh, it's it's got a lot of nutrients in it. It's it's good for the winter. We have a bowl of hot boiling soup. Mm. We got some blood sausage. We have soju in our cup. Let's take care of one of those things. One of those things. Yeah. Cheers. I love so so I, <laughs> I love your face. I love I love soju. I love it. Uh, all right. Uh, during this uh, interview, I'm gonna encourage you to eat with your mouth full. Keep eating. Eating the soup. Make sure everybody sees everybody. Yeah. Mm. You don't have to be polite. Okay. Never been known for being very polite anyway, so. What's all in the soup? Mm. Yeah, obviously, the blood sausage. It looks and... like blood sausage and intestine. Yeah. Like, offal. Right? That's what they call it, offal. I don't see any stomach. I don't see any tripe, but I definitely see intestine. Yeah. So we're eating blood sausage intestine soup. I keep pausing though. Every time I take a bite, I just want to like savor it, like enjoy well, every bit of analy- it. I, I want to interview, then I take a bite, and I'm like, it's so garlicky. It's actually not super strong, no. but the broth is just like mild pork broth with a lot of garlic, and it's amazing. This is amazing soup. You know, I I think I prefer this. To the like, soup? N- uh, just a little dash of that, forget to leave, yeah. pop it in and go. Go for it. I, I'm surprised on how, like, it doesn't seem like it's got a lot of not filler, but there's not a lot of stuff congealing yeah, it yeah. together. Like, the blood does a good job of just See, usually, sticking it together. And, usually, they fill sundae with japje, mm. and in my opinion, I think it's to make it cheaper. Mm-hmm. Like, you're using less meat. I don't think this one has any japje. Uh, looks like maybe a little rice, actually. A little Which rice. Japje is the, the, the glass noodles, right? Glass yeah, noodles, yeah. yeah. This one just looks like pure, delicious bits. Maybe a little rice. That is. Uh, yeah, you, yeah, you should. Yeah, look at that. It's good. This is good stuff. I love it. I like it with the little, uh, the little leaf, the little sauce. It smell. It's like that smell. Kind of reminds me of my grandparents farm you know like food is food is so amazing like that because it could take you back to places that you've not been in like 10 years and it's like oh yeah I know that smell and that now smell we're is somewhere. that smell is amazing perfect all right so grand grandma's farm mm. let's uh, let's start just by asking you about your background mm. where background. are you from and what is your relationship with food well what was a typical meal at growing up in Michael LaPetrie's house? So, um, growing up, um, both my parents were in the food industry, right? So, okay, um, both parents. Both parents. They started that. out, yeah. Parents met when they were at school, you know, culinary school in, in Wisconsin and all that. Got married, had, had, had me, right? Okay. Yeah, I was actually gonna get some water. What too. Uh, what did they do in the food industry? Oh, uh, my mom baked. Baker, dad ran kitchens, sous chef for a while. You know, 
did his own stuff. So, and going around, he started working for a company uh, that ranked universities' kitchens, right? So okay, yeah. Started doing that. And so, growing up, it was never like a, uh, I didn't have like a, like a normal meal. We went and ate. It was around like university students when I was two really and three, right? Okay. So it, so you would go eat at the university. Yeah, yeah. Because well, I mean, you, 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 anyone who knows the food industry, you work it's long hours, right? Sure. It, you yeah. know, running a kitchen like that, serving a couple thousand people a day, right? And it's, it's I mean, it takes time. All that time is you know put in. You don't just you see your family at work. And, you know, fortunate enough that you can do that when you're you know, running the place. So, what? Uh, so, was it rare to have like a family meal? Because I would imagine with both parents working in the food industry, it would be hard to sit down and have a meal at home. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I mean, so it was never about like what we were eating as much as about you know spending yeah, time okay. as much. So, so, but granted, when you're around food all the time, like. You appreciate it, but you 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 worry less about what you're eating as much as just making sure you're spending time that you know a little bit of time that you have with you know your family. Okay. Very good. But I tell you, to this day, this is the thing probably I miss most about being in Korea is I miss my dad's potato soup and my my grandma's. Uh, uh, German potato salad. Oh my okay. god. The per- uh, oh, potato soup, soup and potato salad. salad. Yeah, I don't know why both are potatoes. I don't know, maybe I'm just not eating enough potatoes in Korea right now. But oh, get them I, I, I miss that probably the, the most. Because and it's and it, maybe it's probably this time because it's baked potato soup. Had the big ham bone after a Sunday dinner and you, you, you boil it and on Wednesday night you have Oh, I, miss, I miss that the most. Because you always sat down and watched a movie. I can remember you sit down and watch some kind of stupid Jerry Lewis movie. Not that the movie was bad, but it's just kind of funny, like, yeah. disorderly orderly. I still remember the song. You know? Disorderly <laughs> but, you know, orderly. Yeah, it was just something dumb. It's always interesting how food can comfort us in that mm. way. You know? Yeah, comfort food, right? Yep. I mean, no, doesn't you can be half a world away and still remember when you ate something yeah, the first true. time? And you can immediately, just be transported back to that moment. About to eat raw garlic and I like it. All right, so growing up, your mom and dad were in the kitchen. You know, I mean, I'm, what? Uh, good. What? What led to you? Do you remember a specific point when you realized like? You had a passion for food yourself. Was it your dad's like passion that was passed on to you, or maybe there was a dish you ate that just kind of? I don't think there was. I mean, there, my parents were pretty good about not not imprinting. You know, very much. You got to do what you you're gonna do. You got to do what you want to love. And, sure. Yeah. To most point, and they're like, if you want to go do food, go do food. And, and, but, I don't know, I, being around it all the time, it was so much less about... I, I can remember back, because I remember just dragging a chair up to the counter to kind of so I can stand at somewhere near eye level or hand level that I can work with my yeah. parents and food at home. Everything happens around food, right? Sure, sure. You're going to go out, you go out with, you're going to have food. Yeah. If you're going over to somebody's house, you're not just going to go over and watch a movie. What are you going to do? You're going to eat, right? Sure. And it's no matter what, what you're doing, go see grandparents. Well, you're going to eat a big food. Why? Because grandparents love to shove food down grandkids' throats, right? Most and interactions love it. happen around food. Right, right yeah. Why? It's because it's easy, right? Yeah. And it's good, right? You you have a good people to be around, good conversation, and you have good food to shove in your gullet. And it's amazing because it makes everything... You're you're it, you're invoking all of your senses at once, mm. emotional, physiological, whatever, and I it's like great. It. And I and, it, and it's the thing that's maybe that's why it's like I've always loved it because it, it's always the best part of of memory is is your eating, and but it's also about who you're eating with, right? Yeah. Okay. So, let's get back on track. 
I'm going to move on to the next question. So you've been teaching in Korea now mm, yeah. for a year. Yeah, just about a year. Um, what is your favorite Korean dish? Or your favorite Korean meal? I'll say meal. That you've had since you've been here. Okay. This is kind of multi-fold, right? Okay. So, like, just about anybody. Like, what do you do? You know, like, you go get barbecue with friends after work, right? Barbecue with friends. Barbecue. Always solid. Always, always good. Why? You know, maybe you get just some, you know, your regular some some folks are you can go get smoked up barbecue, whatever. Yeah. Doesn't matter. You're, uh, you're going out and having a good time with friends, right? So in that aspect, like, you know, barbecue is great. Love it. But when it comes to like, man, I'm I want I want good food. I want good food. It's actually a place that we've seen, we've been to before. I love the the, the kukpa. Oh, tapioca soup. Ta tapion soup, yeah. Okay. Gosh, that, uh, the more I have it, the more I love it. Okay, because it's so soup, yeah, so good, but and it's it's so good. You have you have hanu sashimi, right? And you got yep. the you got the uh, oh, what's the other one? So like, raw hanu beef and yukwe, yukwe, yukwe. Gosh, it's so good. Like it's easy to eat. Like you 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 feel. You feel good. I mean, I mean and, and what is? I mean, so that's not the definition of what good food should be. It's how you make you feel. It's like the emotion that it evokes from you, right? Uh, and I'm gonna be mean and eat this last one. Yes, I saved that one for you. We killed the sundae, by the way. Sundae was mm. absolutely awesome. Like really, really good. That is. That's really good. Yeah. Spit all over. I am. Sorry, I can, that's really good. I can catch some and eat yeah. more. <laughs> I like that. Let's do a cheers to mm. try a kombe, my friend. Okay. All right. No. It's really, really good, though. I can't stress enough about how freaking good this sundae is. Like, I like, I like, I like. Kind of want to order good. another plate of it, but you want to? Uh, I'm gonna be so full after this soup, I think. Personally, do you want more? I don't know if I'll be able to eat much. Uh, next question I want to ask you. Um, let's see, what was next down the path? Oh, food industry. Have you ever worked in no, the food industry? Yeah, I've, I started working for my dad when I hit 16. Just working. University stuff? Yeah, yeah. But dad was not. I, I appreciate what he did, right? So, yeah, yeah you can work for me. I need somebody to sweep my floors and be like, oh, uh, but dad, I can, I can do so much more. He was like, no, nah. so I need to just sweep my floors. Yeah. And, and I get, you know, he's like, you, yeah, you, you, you can cook a little bit. Doesn't mean you can cook like I need you to, right? Mm -hmm. You, you got to start at the bottom like everybody else. I'm sure you were annoyed when you were young because my father did that to me too. But in hindsight, like now looking back, do you appreciate that? Oh, yeah. Immensely. I feel the I, same I, way. I would. If you could share a meal with mm. anybody, alive or dead. What, I hate this question. <laughs> who, who would it be, and uh, what would you be eating? But I would like to. Whoever first came up with like eating this, like whoever first be like, now let's shove all these things into an intestine, blood, onion. <laughs> okay. Like where this did that idea come from? I like this. He wants to eat dinner with the person who invented sundae, which we probably don't know by now. All right. Ancient food. But... And what would you eat with that person? Probably a Big Mac. would be like, this is what it's come to, right? I'm like, you... I like when, that. <laughs> this no. is what it's come to. <laughs> This is this like is how bad we have messed up. This is how bad. Yeah, you've got like this crowd of people who won't try blood sausage because the fact of eating cooked and coagulated blood is yucky. Yeah. Yet, like your example, chicken nuggets, which are pink chemical paste. People are okay with that. Or cheese food. Yeah. <laughs> Grab yeah. cheese food. Yeah. yeah. If you were sentenced to death mm. today. You had one final meal. What would your final meal be? And while you think, I'm going to pick this bowl up and drink this broth because it is so damn delicious. Like, it's damn, amazing. damn fun cup of broth. 
Mm. It's so good. Take your time. Mm. I'll, I will just be here nursing the soup. I just like to sit down and have a good bowl of soup. All right. Soup. Some bread. Like a good baguette. It's a good cheese, right? Ooh, I like this. And then, I like this. And then some some barbecued baked pork. I just want like spit roast, whatever. Just so slow roasted slow, pork. Slow roasted, burnt ends, and some brisket, like, and then you fat back green beans. You get the big. Okay. Yeah. So just. I feel like we've tasty. got like a few answers here, but I love. Well, I, I can love only how... choose one. Like no, 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 I'm no, no, laying no, no, out no. my home. This is your meal. This, this is this a is twelve course meal. So let's, meal, let's just right? make sure we got it in order. The first thing you said was soup. All right, what some, kind of soup? Like a beef barley soup. Beef that, barley like something, soup. You know, how, you know that barley okay. taste that you can get. I love that taste. So beef barley soup. Um, then you said a baguette with cheese. cheese. What right. kind of cheese? Some kind of soft goat cheese. A soft goat cheese. Something, right. something that's a little tangy. Okay. You, know, you know that little acidic kind of thing. Yeah, that would be good. And then, <clears throat> beside that, we have what is basically an American barbecue yeah, meal. Yeah, American you said barbecue. Yeah. Not pork I don't want barbecue. It I don't want it saucy. Not saucy. No, not, not saucy. Too, not saucy. Okay. I, I, not too saucy. So I just, I want it. I want it. I want it juicy on its own. I want to taste the pig, right? Okay. I want to taste the so pig. So a well-raised pig. A well-raised pig, right? You have it here. All right. And then, you know, maybe this is me just missing breakfast food, but I want a fried chicken and biscuit gravy sandwich. <laughs> okay. I, I, ha, I have now been missing. Now you're cheating. Now you're cheating. Now we're into, like, basically <laughs> three meals. This, 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 hey, if I'm going to die tomorrow, I'm going to have it all, That's right? True.